Welcome to another video. If you're new here, thanks for watching. Hope you stick around. In today's video, I'll show you how to switch between dark and light mode in React Native. So I've gone ahead and built out this layout here based on uh, this design in my uh, Adobe XD project. So currently we're on this light theme. If I go into the emulator and switch to dark mode, uh, nothing happens in our application. So as you can see, I've switched to dark mode, but then we still have a, a, our application with the white background. So what we'll want to do is get it looking uh, like this. So to do that, let's head over to our code in uh, VS Code. So what you'll want to do first is head over to React Native uh, documentation and search for appearance. So this is what we'll be importing from our uh, React Native. So we can just add that. Next, we'll need to create a state that stores uh, our current uh, uh, well theme. So if we're currently on the light theme, we'll need to save that in the state so that when the theme changes, we can switch between dark and, and light mode. So I'll just create the uh, state called theme and a function called set theme to change the state and call your state. Okay, so to get the current theme, uh, let me just import that. So to get the current theme of the device, we'll just call appearance dot get color scheme. Okay. So that's what we want to do. And then next, uh, we'll need to listen for any changes in our theme. So if the user decides to switch from a light theme to dark mode, we need to listen for that event. And for that, we'll call appearance again and call this uh, listener event, say add change listener. So what should happen? We should get the scheme that the user switches to and then say set the theme then. So we'll just call set theme. Or oh, firstly, let me console log to show you uh, what it will return here. Okay. So if I go back to my application, every time I switch between uh, dark mode and light mode, it should display a console log here of the current theme. So as you can see, uh, Currently, it should be light. Let's just go back to our application and see if it will give us another console log. So there we go. As you can see, we're currently on the light theme. So this is an object. So to get the actual uh, text, whether light, it's light or dark, we'll just need to call this dot color scheme. And then if I go back now, and switch back to dark mode. As you can see, it's now dark. So what we'll need, I've already got styling here at the bottom. So I'll just need to create a, a, a dark mode style and that will basically be styling for this page here. So let's create a separate folder called styles. And in that, we'll create a new JavaScript file called dark mode. And then we'll have our imports here. And in this file, we'll just need the style sheet from our React Native. And then we can go ahead and create our styles here. Let's call it dark mode. And then it will be stylesheet.create. Okay. And then we can copy all of this. So it will be pretty much more or less the same as this. Uh, let me copy this. Okay. And then we'll export 
right? See, there's a repetition there. So we'll export our styling. Export default duck mode. Okay. And we'll import the styling from our app.js here. So let's go ahead and import that from styles dot or forward slash duck mode. Okay. So now uh, let's first change one uh, theme or style from our dark mode, which will be the background color of our main view. So our main view will be changed from white to this shade of blue here. So now what should happen is we'll have to check our theme. If it's currently light, as you see, so here by default, uh, we'll set our current uh, current theme uh, in this theme state here. So our current, whether it's in light mode or dark mode, this will be stored in this variable here called theme or the state rather. And then we'll just have to check if our theme is currently light, then we'll use the main styling that's here at the bottom. If not, then we'll use uh, the styling from our dark mode. Uh, okay, so now as you can see, uh, it will check whether the theme is light. If it is on light mode, then it will use the uh, styling we have at the bottom there. If not, it will just call the dark mode from our uh, CSS here, or our styling that we just created here. So now if I go back to the emulator, as you can see, uh, we're currently on dark mode. And then if I switch back to light mode, our uh, state should be updated and then should be oh sorry supposed to call set theme here okay there we go so if i go back now what are we on okay dark mode should remain the same then switch back to light mode and then our background should change to white as you can see, there we go. And then we'll pretty much do the same for all the other uh, elements in our styling. So let's switch back to dark mode and see what we're supposed to change. So all these black text needs to change to white. And then this has to be the same color as our background as well. So let's first change those. And there we go. So I've edited the the styling here in this dark mode.js file. So now if I go ahead and switch from dark mode to light mode, our application should also uh, update the styling. And that's pretty much it. So we have a state here that has our theme. And every time the theme changes, we update the state and our styling will uh, update to use a specific styling depending on the theme that we have and that should be pretty much it